Georgia at War is the mission that we at Hoggett run on our dedicated server. It features a dynamic campaign where you as the player are a smaller cog in the overall war effort. Objectives are dynamically generated and have a small but cumulative effect on the flow of the overall battle. The goal for this mission is to provide what we've been calling battle flow. Objectives shift over time and the mission features an AI commander that reacts to what you do. If you take territory, the commander attempts to take it back. If you ignore it, the AI takes advantage and captures it for itself. If you destroy the enemy command structures, the commander's orders become delayed, hampering his ability to take and hold ground. The enemy has a primary airfield in the theater, and part of your overall objectives are to capture it. However, you'll need to string together smaller victories to put yourself in the position to approach the enemy HQ. Four warehouses define the center of the battle. These warehouses supply weapons and aircraft for every airfield in the theater, friendly and enemy alike. As day one begins, Russia controls all four. You have a limited amount of weapons and ammunition at your home airfield of Anapa, so your first priority should be to ensure that you've captured at least one of the warehouses to ensure a steady flow of supplies. All territory in Georgia at war is captured by one of two ways. Using the F-10 menu, players can send AI Blackhawks and C-130s to land at any given objective. If they arrive, they will deliver troops to capture and hold the territory. Make sure the AI unit arrives safely. If they're shot down, there's a large cooldown before you can send another. Alternatively, players can spawn in a helicopter and deliver troops and equipment themselves. This mission features CTLD, so using the F-10 menu, players and helicopters can load troops and vehicles from friendly logistic areas and unload them anywhere they'd like. Unload troops at a neutral airfield to capture it. Capturing neutral airfields will give you staging points, allowing you to rearm and refuel without having to fly all the way back to your primary HQ. Having these forward areas allows you to keep the AI pinned. Keeping pressure on the enemy is critical. Without it, the AI commander will be able to retake territory and push you back. A variety of mission types are available, and all are accessible via the F10 menu under Get Current Missions. Siege Strikes will list the position and type of all known strategic SAM sites in the area. These strategic assets deny large areas of the theater, and destroying them allows the players greater freedom of movement and facilitates deeper strikes. Battlefield Air Interdiction, or BAI strikes, strike target ground units that can be used to hamper friendly ground forces or helicopters from delivering troops. These are CAS-like missions generally featuring strikes against units like mechanized infantry or artillery. Strike missions are attacks against hardened targets like ammo dumps and power plants. Completing these strikes are required as a victory condition for the mission and can have effects on the enemy commander's ability to issue orders. Intercept missions target enemy airborne support units like AWACS and tankers. Destroying these can deny the enemy airborne radar and the ability to refuel mid-mission, hampering their ability to harass friendly players. Combat Air Patrol isn't listed as a mission in the menu due to it being a constant need. Players providing CAP are responsible for patrolling the theater and ensuring that enemy air assets aren't able to intercept friendly attack craft. Players coordinating CAP and strike missions is critical to pushing the battle towards the enemy. You can always check on the status of the battle or provide AWACS for your friends at dcs.hoggetworld.com. You can see enemy units that are detected by AWACS, the status of the four warehouses in the middle of the fight, and the position of all friendly units. Clicking on a unit will give you information about it, including type, speed, and altitude. Coming soon, we're hoping to integrate voice communications with Simple Radio via a Chrome browser plugin. The mission will be playing on Hoggett's dedicated server. If you're interested in jumping in, all the information you need can be found on our Discord at discord.gg forward slash Hoggett. We're a new player-friendly group dedicated to making the transition from playing single player to multiplayer as easy and friendly as possible. If that sounds like something you'd like to be a part of, jump on the Discord and check out our subreddit at reddit.com forward slash r forward slash Hoggett. We also run the most comprehensive database on DCS World modules, scripting, peripherals, and more on our wiki at wiki.hoggettworld.com. Thanks for watching, and if you have any comments or suggestions, feel free to comment below or send us an email to hoggybot at gmail.com, message the moderators on Reddit, or find us on Discord at discord.gg forward slash